Welcome back. We are on a mission to have a chicken. Okay. Let's see. Don't have the right tools. I need the watering can. All right. Water our cabbages. Hopefully they grow fast enough for this season. How much were the chickens again? Were they like a thousand? So if that's the case, we might actually have enough already. Right now, Mom is watching the store and Rick is feeding the chickens. Um, actually, Rick is behind you, so he's definitely not feeding the chickens right now. I'm sure Dad had a lot of faith in Rick. I mean, he didn't teach me how to do any of the chores the way he taught Rick. Hey, how's the farm doing? It's business as usual over here. Our chickens are happy and thriving. It takes a lot of strength to start from nothing and make it into something, I bet. Lilia has always been frail, the poor thing. Back when the doctor's father first came to town, he examined her and he made it very clear that an active lifestyle was just not in the cards for her. A shame, hmm? Now we've been best friends for ages. When I heard her prognosis, I nearly fainted, but she just smiled. I told myself right then and there I would have to do all the things that she couldn't for her sake. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Don't have the strength to go out and about all that much. My husband is out and about right now. He left if, to see if he could find medicine to cure my condition. Not that I particularly wanted him to leave. I don't need a cure as much as I need him by my side. Priorities are in the wrong order there, huh? Oh shoot, we went there for a chicken. <laughs> It's gonna take all of our money. Yeah, it's gonna take all of our money. We're gonna get a chicken today. All right. What should we name our chicken? I am not good at naming the animals in these games. Go with the tried and true. We're gonna need chicken feed. We got nothing to our name. You could, in the original games, accidentally leave them out through the night and there were wolves. That would get your farm animals if you left them out. So. <gasps> Hi. Let's send you outside. How cute! Precious, I'm in love. Okay, let's do some foraging, so now we have no money. We got five gold. It's not gonna get us a lot. I actually don't think there's anything that's less than a hundred gold. Oh, Karen. You know, I really like hanging out here. Okay. When I was little, I was sure that as long as I was patient enough, I'd eventually meet the goddess. Have you ever tried giving her 
an offering. Oh, why, hello, Cozy. Hmm, how, how did I know your name? Why, because I'm me, you know? Divine being and all that. Anyway, thank you so much for the lovely offering. Oh my, I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, there you go, Karen. You could have seen her if you just looked a little bit. Or maybe if you gave her some flowers. Oh, look, we got a little bit more money. We're not entirely broke now. We can buy a bar of chocolate. Maybe some curry powder. Oh, nope, nope, didn't mean to. Oops. There we go. I should put the chicken feed back into the Bags of feed. Getting knocked on our ass a little bit there. All right. Oh, the horse puts themselves up too. Okay. Well, let's go to bed. Birthday did we miss? Oh, the harvest goddess. Oh, she's spring eighth. Okay. She likes strawberries, so strawberries are something that will have to grow to raise her affections with us. Because I do believe that the harvest goddess is still a secret romanceable character. Don't know what he likes. I feel like I remember him liking bamboo shoots or something that we can get at the grocery store, like buckwheat or something. There aren't any bamboo shoots up there. I might have sold them if we already had some. We'll go to the store. Oh, we might not have enough for it. Okay, chocolate. Man, I can't remember. Not many people like receiving the grass or the herbs. We get bonuses for the affection if we give them stuff on their birthday. <sighs> Let's see if we have flowers at the very least. Flowers are usually a really safe gift to give. But we'll see. The one thing I don't want to have happen is that we accidentally lose points with him because he doesn't like the gift that we give him. But I digress. Well, I guess we're gonna see. Ahem. Can't believe I'm still getting birthday presents at my age. Thank you, I'll take it. So he didn't hate it. Which is the key thing. And at this point, all I care about is the family of chicken farmers. They're easy because anything chicken related you give them and they're like, that's dope. Do we finish watering? Yeah, okay. What are you here for? I want to make friends, okay? Let's 
some of their dialogue is just repeating right now, because they only like me so much. Mission accomplished. The egg sold for 50 gold. Incubate this one actually. Chickens are really easy because you buy one and then you can just make more. When you sacrifice a day of being able to ship or gift the egg but in all honesty one day is not gonna make that big of a difference when we've been mostly making money off of our foraging anyway I like it to have A little bit of everything so a rabbit is next and then I'd like to get one of the brown chickens I don't think they lay any kind of different egg but I like variety it's just more cute that way back to slowly cleaning up our farm Was a little dramatic, but point taken. We'll go to the hot spring. Dang. We get most of the weeds taken care of, and and it's not too bad. Did it. All of the weeds are gone. Next, just for the sticks and stones and maintaining after that. Excellent. The peep make its way back inside. Good. Good, good, good. Tomorrow's weather. Clouds will be clear up overnight. Sunshine. All right. I didn't sell the things that I had in my bags. <laughs> Cucumbers. I think the potatoes are ready. Yep. Ooh, look, we have a couple of high quality products. Cucumbers. It's a big haul that we got going on there. Beep. Hello. Egg. Oh wait. 
finish the task at hand, and then we'll go do that. Seeds. There's another character we haven't met, and there is only one thing that he likes, and that is cucumbers. That's it. That's all we get. Ooh, look at that. Well, I can guarantee that we're not gonna get any cookies today. We are not good enough friends with anybody for that. Which is a bummer. But... It's kind of how it is for the first couple of, like, festivals that you have. It's like, you don't have a relationship with anybody, so... It's been 13 days. Let's get our chickens out first. We should look into, like, a bag upgrade and our first house expansion. Can't remember the first one or not. Uh, gives us the kitchen. It might. But we'll need a lot of wood and stone for it. Let's go talk to Gots. Oh, a flower. Open every day but Saturday. Oh, in and out of the shop. But it's also a festival, so he's probably closed. Oh, wait, no, it's actually Saturday. Well. Huh. I don't think we've come up here before. It's pretty. Mother's Hill Summit. ship one of everything if we can. Let's go back to cleaning things up just a little bit. We haven't been going to talk to the townspeople as much, and we'll probably want to start doing that here pretty soon. Yay! I can level up our hammer. <gasps> it's all clean! Perfect. Okay. Perfection. <gasps> Yay, we have a chick! Our goal was one chicken, but now we have two. Okay. What should we call this one? What we'll was chirp? Noises that chickens make, apparently, is what we're naming them after. Peep and chirp. Peep gonna come outside too. <gasps> Yay! Or chirp. I should find out if we can get a fishing rod. We have our fish pond, and I know that you can fish. I just don't remember how to get it. I don't think it was a tool that we could buy. I feel like we get it from the Zack. Let's go talk to Zack and see. Oh! Yo, Cozy! What's up? Yo, Bora! Hi, Mr. Zack. Hi, Cozy. I didn't know you'd be here. Mr. Zack, is my delivery here yet? Yep, sure is. This is it right here. Ah, oh, great. Took a lot of work to get this, you know. Hope it turns out good for you. Thanks, and don't tell Mama, okay? 
You betcha. I can already see the happy look on her face when she gets a load of that. Me too. I can't wait. Hmm? You're surprised to see me here? Well, yeah. We usually have Mr. Zack deliver our orders to the store, but I wanted to keep this one a secret. That's why I asked him to hold this one here instead. What did I buy? Um, do you promise not to tell anyone? My lips are sealed. Really? You won't tell anybody? Well, alright then. Mama's birthday is coming up and I want to surprise her. But if I buy a present from town, everyone will know what it is. So I decided to order one for her instead. Yep, and it just came in. Don't you breathe a word of this. Anyway, I'm going to go home and hide this. Thanks a lot, Mr. Zack. No prob. You keep that safe and out of sight till the big day. Cute. Okay. Huh. Well, let's check this first. Just remembered we wanted to go talk to Gots to see. Do you have a fishing rod? You don't. Okay. Not a very engaging conversationalist. Ugh. Be in and out of the shop. Okay, let's see if he's back back. Especially because it's an hour before it closes. Ah! just want to know how much it's going to cost in material and gold. Are you kidding? Well, now I'm just mad. Sir, where have you been? the entire time you were supposed to be open. I like the way... living way out here by myself, but sometimes, when it's real quiet, I'll see some weird stuff. What, are you getting scared? Then scoot on home before it gets too dark. I don't wanna. I guess we'll go into town and talk to some people. Oh, cozy. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do here in this town. Haven't decided on any course of action yet, though. So yeah, that's one of those things, uh, Cliff can actually leave. If you don't make friends with him in, like, the right amount of time frame, he'll actually leave for, like, a season. Wondiferous person. Is that actually even a word? We're gonna find out. Just seems to be like a made-up word that she uses. Solved that little mystery. Uh, let's take our character to bed. Perfect. Ellie's birthday. Ellie probably is gonna like flowers, so if we can find some flowers, that'd be good. Or gots to, like, actually have a shop open for a minute. Have I been misreading it? I thought it said they were closed on Saturdays, but it could have said Sunday. That is just as likely. Okay, we'll pause watering. They're supposed to open at 11, so let's see. Okay. Renovations. This is what we're looking for. Ooh, okay. Ooh, 
we can get a town villa. Villa? That's actually how you say that word? Let's see. We need 150 lumber and 50 stone. Takes three days to finish, comes with a kitchen. <gasps> Excellent, okay. Dang. Well, you can't do it with what I have, so. What can we buy? <gasps> Ooh. House upgrades and also an apple and orange tree. Okay, so our new goal is to get enough wood. I need to get the axe to get the house upgrade. Ooh, water. Let's finish watering. I guess I could also go and see how much it would be to upgrade, finish watering. Pay attention. Jeez. <laughs> One task at a time. It's Ellie's birthday, so we also need to go give her her flowers. And then I want to stop at the blacksmith to see how much it would be to upgrade the axe so we can start chopping up the bigger stumps on the farmland. That'll be nice. Probably give us a good amount of wood off of it, too. Okay. Blacksmith and then Ellie. That's our task for this. Upgrade tools. Axe. Copper axe. Ooh. Is that an instant upgrade? Mythic axe. We have copper. We've got one copper sitting in the... not ready to be upgraded. What? <gasps> Have we not been using it enough? Dang, okay. We'll need to use the axe more. It hasn't had its first level up, basically. Okay, let's go talk to Ellie. Uh, wrong stick. Flowers? Thank you, I'm always happy to get presents on my birthday, no matter how old I get. Well, there. Well, I don't want an exam or medicine. I'm just here to socialize. Something ails you, you should check it checked out. shopping day. I look forward to seeing what the general store has in stock. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm running errands for Mama today. Mama always buys too much. My arms aren't cut out to carry it all home. It's almost a spring derby. I can't wait to see the horses go. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you a third time. Sure does fly. No, we're saving it for the house expansion. I want the kitchen. We'll just say hello to everybody. So the spring derby is a couple of days away, so it's the talk of the town right now. Oh! Grandma, how are you feeling? Oh, much better now, dear. Thank goodness. Seems it was just a cold. Please keep warm and get plenty of rest. Thank you, doctor. No thanks necessary. More importantly, how are your legs doing? About the same as always, I'd say. Hmm. I apologize. If only I were more skilled. Oh. You have nothing to trouble yourself over, doctor. Yes, yeah, she's right. You've already gone above and beyond for my grandmother. I appreciate that. Doctor, it's about time to get back to the clinic. 
Right, well then, take care. Thank you, doctor. The word grateful hardly captures how I feel. Ellie and the doctor have been so good to me. I really look up to the doctor, and I'm sure Ellie does too. I don't believe that, that was a heart event. I think that was just like a friendship event for Ellen. Like clockwork. Ah. Nope, locked. Oh, that's right, she was in the shopping market. Hmm. Oh, we'll talk to Duke real quick. Go on to the odds for the horse race. You and me both, my friend. You and me both. Uh, I think she might be in the town square gossiping. Ah! Oh, we're right here. Rolls around, Duke can't seem to sit still. We've been together for years, but I still get a kick out of it. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, cozy. Think about what I'm gonna do here. Huh. We should make more friends with Cliff so we can make sure he doesn't leave. I think... We'll call it here. And next time round, we're going to focus on getting the house upgrade.